My name is Anthony Vedana. I worked for North American Aviation for 20 years, and I worked as an electrical engineer for 40 years. This presentation is about the Apollo Spacecraft Electrical Power System, EPS, on the command and service modules. The signal line shows the source power and bus voltages. The power source consisted of energy sources from fuel cells and batteries used on the bird. There is two voltages available, 28 volts DC and 120 slash 200 volts, three phase 400 hertz AC. Most of the loads are 28 volts DC, but there are a few loads like motors that need the AC voltage. The fuel source cells are like liquid batteries that last several weeks. They provide DC voltage and the byproduct is uh, produces water. Several batteries are used for the re-entry and for pyro loads. Pyro is like an explosive. They blow things off the, the bird, like the parachute. The, the fuel cells are located in the service module and the batteries are located in the lower equipment bay of the command module with an auxiliary battery on the service module. That particular uh, Auxiliary was added after Apollo 13. They had so much trouble they put added a battery to the service module. Uh, the AC is, is converted from DC voltage using uh, inverters. And um, if the inverters are covered earlier, uh, the fuel cells are being shown right now. It showed they're more than just uh, liquid batteries. They're, they're quite exotic and they have a lot of equipment that goes with them and mounted on the spacecraft itself. But they do last a long time and they're extremely uh, light compared to the batteries it would produce. Which batteries would be way, way more than the command module. It shows how the uh, fuel cell works. And this is the mock-up showing the fuel cells and another view of it from a uh, perspective view in there on the service module. And here's a little bit of, now we're starting the batteries. And the batteries were used for re-entry and uh, because they were disconnected from the, the fuel cells. And this shows the characteristics of the batteries and where they're located at the lower equipment bay. Um, the blow up of it, and um, here's another view of the, where the batteries are located. This is a substitute they use for a battery when they're doing tests and, and house. The batteries were f rated 40 amp hours, which is quite a, quite a lot of punch on that. And they, last, they didn't last two weeks, like this. they last a few, a few, several hours, enough probably to maybe a day or so to do their job. Um, there's a little more information on the batteries. Now the, there's the auxiliary switch for the battery that's in the service module. Again, uh, they, were, they were put in after Apollo 13. Now this shows the battery charger. The batteries had to be charged somehow. They, they used the battery charger to, to convert it from the uh, from the shoe cells. And here's the charging uh, characteristic curve. Here's a diagram of the charger itself. And here's a, a picture of the charger, the, the, the charger, on the back side of it. And the converters were important but they did get that to get the AC voltage and here's a diagram of the uh, AC system. And here's a picture of the AC system of the actual devices they use on the bird. 
and that shows where the locations are, how they were hooked up. And there's a location of them on the lower equipment bay. Again, this is on the diagram. And now we're going to the panels to show the fuses and the switches and things of that nature that were needed for the power system. And they were both used for DC and AC, and they would switch these things back and forth as required to monitor the voltages on the command module. And uh, here's all the fuses on there quite a bit. The fuses but actually are circuit breakers. They're just push them in, they're small cylindrical circuit breakers. Don't look anything like the house breakers you have. These are like a little tube. Here's the back side of one of the, of the uh, panels. You can see the wiring on it. And here's some more uh, circuit breakers. And and this shows a, a photograph of how the circuit breakers look like mounted on the panel. And it shows that location of that particular panel. It's, there were fewer fuse, there were circuit breakers throughout that bird. And here's the uh, panel again. Overall, if you look at it, overall view. And it shows the different sites blown up so you can see it more clearly. And uh, here's a photograph of what they look like. Another view of the breaker, circuit breakers and switches. And this shows the uh, fuel cell that used on the space shuttle. Looks a lot different. And here's the, uh, the diagram for the um, lunar module overall. And the next diagram will show the uh, AC power for the uh, lunar module. It uses the same kind of setup that the uh, uh, the, the Apollo Command Service Modules did, so they would use all the same type of equipment. Um, and here's some locations to get more detailed information. You want to look up exactly what these things do, uh, how this powers. And this I threw in a Soyuz uh, diagram. They're hard to find, so I got one that was in Russian and labeled everything. And so you can see what it looks like. And that's the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you for doing that.